And the topic of today is SOS. Now, a lot of people go out into, uh, into outback, bit of adventure, hiking, bushcraft, whatever they do. But they always seem to forget a certain points of having SOS equipment. Now you don't know what situation you're getting. You might get dehydrated, you, become, you might get maybe sick, you might get injured, you may get lost. We don't, just don't know what can happen. It, you know, it can happen to anybody. Even to the best of people, it happens. This is life. So basically what I do, I have a, a, my, my five pie pouch and it has all my SOS equipment. I go wherever I go, it goes along with my two jet packs I have in my back which contains food and water and other essential items which I'll do a, another a review on that but today we're discussing the SOS uh, equipment I carry all the time just in case something does happen I've got something to get help stay with me hi welcome back so here's a pouch I'll give a link for that description of it on, down below so check that out Obviously, I bought the, the Velcro belt separate, so look, let's look inside. Now, everything is going to be higher visibility. Everything's changed now. For one, cordage, 550 power cord. Uh, it's got reflective material inserted inside. Orange, you want everything to be visible. Remember, you're sick, you may be at an accident, you may be lost. You know, you, everything you use, you want to know that you can see it and it doesn't go nowhere. Flagging tape, I carry, most of the time I carry two. And let's say for example, when you want to be found, these are paramount, they are cheap, but so important. Now what they are used for is I'll take off about two foot at a time. And as I'm traveling through the woodlands or wherever it may be that I'm lost, I will mark on that tape, obviously I carry a permanent marker as well, obviously. I'll mark on there the direction I'm going, uh, the time, the date, the also uh, my situation regarding water or food, uh, plus my condition, which is most importantly as well. So having all this information, so if you put maybe, I don't know, it, I'm not sure on the exact amount of how much and how far you should put these flagging tapes, it depends how much you've got as well. Maybe every um, half hour, maybe, Every, maybe 15 minutes or half hour, I'm not sure, but maybe in the comments you could suggest to me which is a, the best amount of time gap wise to, to lay your flag in tape. But paramount, very important and very useful. These things will flutter in the wind and you can see this from a long distance, no doubt. They will come into their own. The next thing I carry is a dry bag, orange again. Collect water with this, very useful. What's inside? Obviously, signal mirror. Uh, it's made by Sol. You can get this on Amazon, you, uh, eBay. Very useful, very simple. It's made for higher perspex, so it's very extremely strong. You, it has got a hole on the corner, so you can cut, uh, tie a cord to it to put it around your neck if you so wish. You can also check yourself to see if there's anything on your face. You know, some of us do need it. Whistle. Very loud, very, very loud. One of the loudest whistles in the world. Orange again. A little torch, which includes a strobe light and SOS. So this is a, a very extremely important for nighttime because obviously daytime, you, you know, the colors of orange and, and the signal mirror, they do great, but obviously nighttime, you need something to be seen. Now there's two things I use for night uh, signal. It'd be the SOS on this, and I also have a laser as a backup. That, you know, also that, that, that can cover like, go as far as uh, like kilometers away. I'm doing the SOS uh, signal with the laser, it works. And obviously when you're flashing a laser around, in the dark, people do get a bit suspicious or think, you know, or curious to find out what it is. That could help you. So uh, uh, remind, remember though, please, please, please do not point your laser at any aircrafts or helicopters or, or cars of any type or shining in anyone's face, especially their eyes. It's extremely dangerous, so please don't do that. So remember that the laser is extremely important, but do get a, a good brand. Spend at least minimum 
and maybe allow around 15 pounds upwards on a laser, a good quality type. There are very cheap ones, believe me, that just, you might as well just throw them away. So, torch and, and laser. The next thing I have is again by, uh, is it by Sol again? I think it's by Sol. I'm not quite sure. So, uh, waterproof matches. Very important. Now, it's got a rubber seal. A very good rubber seal. It has a hole for cordage to, to hang up. Obviously, your waterproof matches, good quality. They're not the cheapest, but they are good quality and they'll do the job. And most importantly, which a lot of people make a mistake with, the striker is on the inside. I've seen many of strikers, they're on the bottom. And if they get wet, they, they just disintegrate. And, and when it comes to lighting that match, it's just not gonna work at all. You've wasted your money. And it could, you, you know, if you need life saving to start the fire, you imagine that if it does, you, you made that mistake. So don't make that. So either have the striking material on the side or you can put one inside, both ways. And remember, nice and tight. Waterproof, it, you know, it's, it could save your life. The next thing I carry with me, humble bandana. Now, why bandana? Orange, again. And the thing is you've got to remember, sometimes you could be that sick you can't stand up or walk around. Your head could be just above the ground, just enough for you, you know, to be visible. So it just it comes, it comes into its role. A bandana, very important. What else have we got? Obviously, we've got spare batteries for, your, for the, the little torch I have. Always remember, please, please check the power in the batteries before you go out. Don't go out and then try it to batteries and find that they've gone dead. So always check your batteries on all your devices before you go out, very important. The next thing is I always carry Oasis uh, purification tablets just one tablet per liter leaving there for about 30 uh, 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 30 minutes and by that time it'd be uh, ready to drink and always check your expiry date on these these ones do go to uh, expire in 2018 so I always check these as well very important uh, survival bag I carry a survival bag which is very useful it's a large uh, uh, survival bag it can cover your whole body not only that you can make a tarp out of this it's you know it, it, it's like a blanket tarp it's fantastic and it, it keeps you warm keeps the wind off there keeps the rain off there it, it really does a fantastic uh, job this is by life uh, life systems uh, fantastic definitely uh, want to have that the other thing I have is a high visibility shirt or top a jacket I couldn't find the orange one so what I basically did it's got a little reflector on the back I got I went to a bicycle shop and uh, basically I found a good a decent one there it's, it's, it's high visibility again it does the job I know it's not orange but still uh, uh, it's fantastic it does it it's, it gives that element, uh, element of warmth as well which is good and uh, it's, I'm not sure if it's uh, fully waterproof it is kind of yeah It'll do the job. The next thing is, I carry a sole. Uh, this is a, an outdoor, um, like a, a mummy bag. It would actually they call it an emergency bivy, bivac. And this is like a sleeping bag, and it opens up fully. You can go right inside it, and it's a, a orange on the outside. And it's a space blanket like type on the inside. It, I've, I've used it. It's believe me, it's, I've I've now packed it back in. It's a bit of a pain to take out and to put back in so for demonstration purposes I'm just going to leave it inside this time uh, so it's very good it keeps you dry it keeps you warm and it's still you're still whole body still high visibility still and the last thing is a knife a Mora knife fantastic it's orange again now we know when you become uh, disoriented or dehy uh, dehydrated or you're sick or you're, you've injured, 
you're, you're going to need a knife and obviously when you're in that situation you, you know you, you may drop your knife or you know you can't remember where you put it when this goes on the floor you guarantee you won't lose this fantastic knives really sharp you know beautiful they really do the job and obviously uh, at the back it's got a striker built in fire still on the back beautiful it does the job it's got a 90 degree spine on there it sparks come off lovely so there's two things in one there so here you go that's my uh, SOS kit sometimes I may upgrade it depending on the there's, if there's a more uh, a modern type of equipment which I can add to it or replace but like I say as an advice I think it's one of those necessary things that everyone should have especially when they're outside uh, doing a bit of adventure or hiking or when you're doing a bushcraft for the weekend or for the week or for even you know if, if you just love the color orange to have it's entirely up to you but I think it's one of the most important things to have I highly recommend it and don't go out there without it just in case you never know these sort of tools could save your life Thanks for watching, until next time. And of course, if you liked it, please give us a thumb up and give us a nice comment. I'd like to hear what you think about the kit I have. Take care, bye.